How's it going guys? I'm the Gaming Updater, but you can call me TK, and today, boy, have I got some awesome news for you guys. Um, but uh, first, before I get into that, uh, there is something I wanted to say, and that is, as you're watching this gameplay, I know I am crap. Now, um, I probably look alright, I'm probably an alright player when it comes to actually playing, uh, you know, strikes and things like that. Some other gameplay you might see, I might look pretty good at this game. Uh, but when it comes to the online component in the Crucible, I am shocking, and I know it. And thus, I haven't done any recording of it until now. This is uh, my first, this is probably, I've not even, I've barely ever played the Crucible even. Just because I'm so bad at it, it's not even worth it. I kind of find it frustrating that Destiny almost forces you to play the Crucible to, you know, pick up on some of the things in the game. It's quite, it's quite frustrating. I prefer, I prefer, you know, big open games like Battlefield and stuff. I'm not into small maps and things like that. Anyway, I know I'm crap. Uh, so leave me alone. <laughs> but anyway, into the cool news. Uh, first, I've got two two big things I want to talk to you today about. Uh, the first, uh, thanks to a hacker group, hacking group by the name of H4LT, uh, they have recently leaked the latest version um, of the Xbox One's SDK, which is the uh, Xbox One software development kit. So in an update, uh, it shows that the Xbox One, the Xbox One developers can now use more of the console CPU. Uh, so the Xbox One features a 1.75 GHz AMD 8-core CPU, uh, and the update gives access to the to a seventh core out of the eight uh, in the CPU by lowering the amount needed for the background operations related to the Kinect's infrared and voice detection capabilities. Uh, so basically, uh, anyone creating a game for the Xbox One is going to be able to make a a cooler Xbox One game, which is which is I reckon is big big news. Uh, I don't think this has been uh, talked about enough. As in, I've heard maybe one or two little things about it on uh, uh, GameStop and a couple of other websites, as IGN and stuff. But it's not, it's not really been uh, taken in consideration too big much. I think it kind of is, especially when you've got games that to uh, run better. The games are starting to come out that are running a bit better on the Xbox One, and now it's only going to get even better thanks to the fact that they now able to use more of the Xbox One CPU. Uh, question is though. Is this a reliable source? Uh, are these guys telling the truth? Well, people seem to think so, uh, and mainly because um, they're not a hacking group, as in they, they're not like Lizard Squad trying to shut down. All they're trying to do is find information before it's supposed to be released. Uh, and plus, they have no reason to lie about such a thing. So it seems pretty reliable. Uh, it's coming from a, 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 you know, a fairly well-known hacking group. Um, but uh, that'd be uh, really cool, especially for Xbox One owners and Xbox One fans, if uh, they can get to get that eight, that seventh core, because uh, games are only get even, gonna get even better. And the second thing, which I think is just plain awesome, is uh, talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. So uh, the people that create Five Nights at Freddy's uh, at ScottGames.com. Uh, th have a tendency to create games really quickly, as in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 only came out a couple of months after the first one, uh, and it's looking like there may be a third coming very soon. Now, uh, I really love when uh, video game developers don't just announce it, they try and keep it cool. For instance, uh, the uh, PT for the si new Silent Hills game coming out this year uh, looked, was it, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. That took a couple of months for people to figure out the end of that game and what it all meant. It was just a cool way to announce a game. And here's how they've possibly began their announcement for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So, if you go to their website at scottgames, scottgames.com, uh, their page has been updated with a new cover fo photo, which features one of the animatronics with the words, I'm still here. Uh, plus, if you try to save the picture file, it comes up the name F and AF3 at J of a JPEG, which could stand for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. If this is how they've done it, this is so subtle and so so cool. Uh, I reckon that just that's an awesome way to announce it. So possibilities of a new Five Nights at Freddy's, that's probably less the news for me. More the fact how they've announced it uh, just seems too awesome. But anyway... Uh, that's really it for now. If there's any other news uh, that I find out about, I'll let you know about it. Um, but for now, thanks for sticking around. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like. Go and check me out on Twitter as well. Uh, it's cool. I'm getting a lot. Of, I'm getting a few likes on Twitter, followers on Twitter. Sorry, um, which is awesome. I'm probably a bit more active on that as well. Uh, I also have a Facebook page. Go and check that out. Um, but apart from that, catch you later. Thanks for sticking around, guys. TK out. <laughs>